Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 47. Inside this video, we will start all about eloquent relationships and also we will see one to one relationship. So, for the documentation about eloquent ORM, if I back to browser, go to the official website of Laravel that is laravel.com inside this we need to click on this documentation section and if we go inside this so we should see our eloquent ORM is the menu when we click on that here we have different different types of submenus so first we need to click on this getting started so all about the theoretical concept and all about the definition we should get from this documentation as well as if we want to get the idea about the relationships what we have inside Laravel so we can see that we have one to one one to many one to many inverse that is belongs to has one through has many through and many more so we will discuss step by step means each relationship inside each video so inside this video we will discuss about one-to-one -one relationship. So how can we define eloquent relationships in simplest term? In the previous video, we had seen about the concept of Laravel join. So in that video, we had discussed that let's say we have two tables. In the first table, we have some data and in the second table, we had used the ID of the first table as a foreign key concept in the second table. So by the help of some Laravel methods, we have fetched all the data combining two tables by the help of inner join, left join and the right join. But now in eloquent relationships, it is going to fetch or use the same concept to get the data from one or multiple tables. So inside one to one relationship, if I back to our database, so here as we can see that inside our database we have a table called students. Now inside this students table we have several many more entries of each respective row of student. Now if I back to another table called branches and inside this table we can see we have a column called id, name, student id and two timestamp values. Now inside this table we have the branches called computer science mechanical, CSE and IT which is associated with each respective student ID. So right now from all these rows we have allotted college for only the ID number equal to 500, 508 and 509. So basically we are going to combine these two tables to get the data. Let's say that we want to retrieve the student or let's say we want to retrieve the branch which we have allotted to this 509 student. So considering 509 ID inside this table, we will pick the value called CSE and IT. So this is one to one relationship. It means a single student means one row is associated with one row of the second table. Also, we can see that inside this table we have 500 ID. So inside this table we have 500 ID so this student has associated with the branch called computer science so one row of this first table is associated with one row of this second table so this is called one-to-one -one relationship also we can understand by the help of inverse relationship that is also a single row of branch or from this branches table called computer science one row of this table is also associated with one row of this student table so this is inverse relationship like mechanical is associated with only a single student called 508 in the same case CSA and IT is associated with single row of student table called 509 so straight and forward the relationship is something one row of this table is associated with one row of this second table is called one to one relationship. But in case of inverse we have a single branch is also associated with a single row of a student. So this is called the inverse of one to one relationship. 
So let's see in action that how can we implement Laravel relationship to get or fetch our data combining these two tables. So for that, back to editor. This is our web.php and this is our controller. So first we need to define our relationship. So to define our relationship, we are going to use our model concept because all the relations we will define or we define inside model. So if I back to our student model, so inside this student.php which is a model and inside this we have to define our relationship. So let's say that this is one to one relationship. It means we want to fetch or get a branch associated with student ID. So public function let's say branch and inside this let's say return this we have to define has one and inside this we need to specify our branch class it means this branch class means branch.php model is basically represents all about branches table because it's a model so inside this has one let's say branch and we are going to associate because it's a class so by the help of this method this method indicates that inside this student model we have a branch method and this branch method is associated with one-to-one -one relationship with the branch model and this branch model indicates all about branches table now next we need to see that how to use this method so for that if I back to HTTP controllers and let's say student controller and inside this we are going to create a method called public function let's say list student and I think that this method is already exist and we have so simply let's say if I type the same method name as list users and inside this method in the first step what I will do first we are going to read all the data from a student's table so let's return here we have the student model and simply I'm going to write all method if I save all these changes and first we need to create the route so back to web.php and here let's route get let's say users and inside this we are going to use the student controller and inside this student controller it's a class and we have the method called list users we have some spelling mistake of our method name so back to controller copy the method name and pasting it here so if I save all these changes copy this users route back to browser reload this page and first we need to start the development server so let's say php artisan serve here we have started now if we type our local host and the users route now as we can see that we are getting all about our students entry what we have inside our database but this time we are going to use one-to-one -one relationship it means when we want the branch of this third number ID how can we get if we want the branch of last number ID that is 509 how can we get the associated branch of this student back to editor go to controller if I make comment of this line so simply we need to write return let's say student it's a model scope resolution operator let's say find and we want to find let's say first number ID and branch property it means we are using this branch method as a property here and we are going to fetch the first number student and associated branch when we do so save all these changes go and reload this page and here we are getting that is trying to get property branch of non object and this is the error it's because as we know inside this branches table we don't have any row of first number student id instead we have called 500 508 and 509 so there is no row of this branches table which is going to 
means associated with first number is student ID. So that's why we are getting error. Let's say in place of 1, if we replace with 500 and as we know that 500 student, this is the student which is associated with our first number ID called computer science. Now if you save all these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that the first number student ID which has an ID of let's say 500 is associated with computer science branch. If I back here, if we pass let's say 509, save these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting CSE and ID. So this is quite useful to use relationship which is going to actually reduce our efforts to make or let's say combining one or more tables. Simply this is a join what we have applied from a student's table to branches table. But behind the scene we have used our eloquent concept. Now next we need to understand about inverse of one to one relationship because it is direct it means a student is associated, a student of this table is associated with branches of each means branches table. So now let's see that inverse relationship it means each branch row is also associated with each row of this student's table. So back to editor. So for that we are going to use our branch model. So go to models folder branch.php and inside this let's say public function we want to get a student which is going to associate it with each branch row. So let's return this and this time we are going to use belongs to method. In the student model we had used has one method. It means a student has fun branch but inverse relationship also branch belongs to a student. So here inside this parenthesis we need to pass our student class. Now here we have joined two models that is this is our first model core branch and it is belongs to our student model. So if you save all these changes back to our student controller and here if we load let's say use branch and if I make comment of this line to test our inverse relationship, let's return. Here we'll put called branch and first if I put all which is going to list all the branches what we have inside our table. So save these changes. Go and reload this page. So as we can see we have three different rows called computer science, mechanical and CSE and IT. So let's find about all the details of this 500 ID or simply let's say this first number row ID because this is the branch ID which is associated with this 500 ID and this 500 ID is associated with this row of students table. So back to editor, comment of this line, let's return branch find here we are going to pass the branch ID that is 1 and we are going to fetch the data of a student. As we know when we create these methods it seems to a property like this. So save this change, go and reload our page. So as we can see that the first number branch ID that, that has the value of a student ID equals to 500 is associated with this student. If we check to our table and this is perfect. If we pass instead of one value, if we pass second value, this is branch ID equals to two. Go and reload this page. And as we can see that this is the student which is associated with this second row ID. So successfully guys inside this video, we understood about that is if you want to learn about the documentation. Here is the documentation you can study and inside this video we have covered all about one to one relationship and also inverse of one to one relationship. In the next video we will see some more relationships inside this playlist. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.